Hello, this is Pastor Mark Taylor, and today I want to talk to you about putting on a new outfit. You know, this is, uh, we're actually starting fall, Wednesday night about 11 o'clock. Uh, it, it became fall, and we, even though the weather doesn't seem like it, we're in the fall season. As we enter the fall and winter season, we're going to uh, change our clothes and we're going to take our summer clothes and put them away and bring out our fall and winter clothes. Well, in the same way, spiritually, the Lord wants us to put on a new outfit. I want to read you some scriptures from Colossians 3, 8 through 14. It says, But now also put off all these things, anger, wrath, malice, blasphemy, shameful speech out of your mouth. Do not lie one to another, having put off the old man with his deeds and having put on the new. Therefore, as the elect of God, holy and beloved, put on tender feelings of mercy, kindness, humbleness of mind, meekness, long-suffering, forbearing one another and forgiving yourselves. If anyone has a complaint against you, as Christ forgave you, so also you do. And above all these things, put on love, which is the bond of per perfectness. You know, as we become Christians, and as we accept the Lord Jesus Christ as our Savior, everything doesn't change automatically. We become, uh, we are part of the new birth, but we're only babies. The Bible says that at, at, at our new birth, there's a lot of maturing and growing that must take place. And uh, the Lord wants us to change some things in our life as we begin to grow and mature in the Lord. God expects you and me to change the way we act and the way we live. Uh, in Colossians 3, 5 through 7, it says, Therefore put to death your members which are on the earth, fortification, uncleanness, passion, evil desire, covetousness, which is adultery, adultery, on account of which things sake the wrath of God is coming on the sons of disobedience, among whom you also walked when you lived in these. When you were lost and without Christ, you did many things that were unpleasing to the Lord. And now that you are born again and you're one of God's children, he wants you to put away those things. Put away that lifestyle that you once had that was displeasing to Him and harmful to you. God expects you to change because He paid the price to forgive you of your sins. The Lord Jesus Christ died on the cross. God sent His only begotten Son that you might have life. And it was a great price. This freedom that you have, this new birth. And the Lord wants you to change from your old lifestyle into the Christian lifestyle. In 1 Corinthians 6, 19 through 20, it says, Do you not know that your body is a temple of the Holy Spirit who is in you, whom you have from God, and you are not your own? For you were bought at a price. Therefore glorify God in your body and in your spirit, which are God's. You know, when you accept Christ and He accepts you, you are giving your life to Him, and you're not your own anymore. We all want God's blessings, don't we? And we all want forgiveness from God. But you know what? This is conditional upon your behavior. Yes, your sins have been covered by the blood of Jesus, and uh, the things that you have done in, in your flesh uh, have been forgiven as you ask for forgiveness, but there also are many consequences for our behaviors even though we are forgiven. But one of the things that continuing in sin and doing these things that we uh, were instructed to put off is that it, it robs us of the blessings that God wants to give us. The Bible says that we've been saved by grace and really there's nothing we can do to, to earn our salvation, but there is something about this new birth as we become a disciple of Christ that we begin to walk with Him and do the things that the Holy Spirit is instructing us to do. Uh, God's blessings, His healings, His forgiveness, all have conditions on them. 
you can't buy it, you can't work for it, but yet when you go against God, you're robbing yourself of these blessings and these healings and these forgiveness that God wants to give you. And also when you do these things, these old things that the old man used to do, then uh, God is obligated to punish you. Listen to these scriptures in Hebrews 12, 6 through 8. For whom the Lord loves, he chastens or punishes, corrects, and he scourges every son whom he receives. If you endure the chastening or the punishment of the Lord, God deals with you as his children. For what child is there of a father who does not punish him when he does wrong or does not chasten him? But if you are without chastening, of which all have become partakers, then you are illegitimate and not children. God is giving us a warning that as His new children, as being born again children, that if we purposely go against His Word and His things that He has told us not to do, then we're going to be punished. Not because of a hardness of God's heart, but because of the hardness of our heart. Because He loves us, and He's doing this to correct us so that He might bless us. You know, if you do confess your sins and you ask for forgiveness, you should there should be some change in your life. The Bible says in James 2.26, For as the body without the spirit is dead, so faith without works is dead. If there's no demonstration of a new life in you, you need to really check up on, on did you really get saved or did you just say a prayer uh, because somebody asked you to. Jesus said that a good tree cannot bring forth bad fruit and a bad tree cannot bring forth good fruit. Examine your own fruit and see what type of fruit is coming out of your life. The challenge is to put on this new outfit and, and you put it on sometimes one piece at a time. And you, you do it with the, with the instruction from God's Word and from the power of the Holy Spirit to allow you to do. And this change, the Bible says, is something you should do with a positive attitude. Not out of guilt, not out of fear, but out of love for the Lord Jesus Christ. He says, and whatever you do, do it heartily as unto the Lord and not to man, knowing that from the Lord you will receive the reward of your inheritance. For you serve the Lord Jesus Christ, but he who does wrong will be repaid for what he has done, for there's no partiality. So God wants you to understand today this new outfit that he is asking you to put on is for your benefit. It is for your, for your uh, spiritual growth and maturity. You cannot live this double lifestyle of coming to church on Sunday and living the rest of the week as someone that goes against the principles that God has asked you to, to forsake and put off. So I hope today you'll begin to examine your own heart and see if there's things in there that, that God wants you to, to, to take care of and to get rid of. Put on this new, new outfit and you will both be pleased, the Lord will be pleased, and all those around you will be influenced by your new testimony that the Lord has given you. May God bless you and, and may this help you as you walk in your Christian life with this new outfit on. God bless you.